Spencer pushes it. Three-pointer for Spencer. Gets it! Barber. Barber's open right corner. Fires for three. Got it! The game of basketball is pretty simple, as the objective is to put the ball through a basket to score. Since its invention in 1891 by James Naismith, the simple concept remains the same. However, there have been some changes since its birth. For example, the jump shot. There's a lot of set shooting, uh, where they actually planted here and with their feet on the ground, they would just shoot the shot there. In time, certainly with athleticism coming into play, it became more of a jump shot, where now they were actually leaving their feet and getting up and shooting the ball at the top of their jump. The saying, practice makes perfect, stands true for today's era of basketball, particularly for the jump shot, as it is a staple to the game today. Players who spend the time to develop their shot, uh, it, they're the ones who are able to advance to the next level. You know, those kids who can score at three levels and everything, and the jump shot being one of the levels. If you're a jump shooter and, you got, and you're a good athlete, you can elevate into your shot and actually jump over a defender who's closed in and, and, and is defending you well. There are multiple elements, both physically and mentally, that are required to successfully execute the jump shot. Shot prep. Shot prep is before the ball ever hits your hands. If you're a jump shooter, we want your knees bent. We want your hands ready. We want that first part of the loading process to be in place. Hold the ground up. I mean, you want to make sure first that you have proper footwork. You want to make sure you have a proper balance, you know, base and everything, and that you're ready to shoot the ball. Now the ball's passed to you and it hits your hands, and your legs are already ready to spring you up in the air. Because you're jump shooting, your legs are a pivotal part of that. And so not having to catch, go down, and then come back up is something that we use with our players. And getting down, driving into the shot, knees bent, step in, jump up, and then you're shooting a jump shot. And then what we really talk to our kids about is also eye target, making sure that your eyes is focused on your target. We talk about making sure you're getting it over the front of that rim and they're looking in the center, getting it to the back of the rim there and stuff so that you can give yourself more room for error that way. A constant theme that kind of crosses the line for all of them is height in the shot. The, the, the more the trajectory on the shot, if it flows up high and the ball kind of drops into the cylinder, you're maximizing the, the width of the rim. Over the years, NC State has developed many great players. Their commitment and devotion to the game of basketball has allowed fans to witness some spectacular moments. Alton, up for the jumper. He hits it! Nine to shoot, baseline jumper, by Brown. This shot is good as it goes. <laughs> Be sure to watch the Wolfpack basketball programs create more memorable moments as they wrap up their seasons and head into the postseason this spring. Slows it down, three on the way, bam! Barber throws up a desperation shot left, but he hit it, he hit it, it's good!